Look like a big sucker. Fierce Firearms presents The Fierce Life. Brought to you by Jack Link's Beef Snacks. Feed your wild side. Swarovski Optics. See the unseen. Fierce Firearms. Ferocious performance. Deadly accurate. Barnes Bullets. Optimized for your target. Sportsman's Warehouse. America's premier outfitter. Cutterback. More deer. Fewer blanks. Rizzini USA. Sporting and field over under shotguns for the discriminating shooter. Limb saver. Caldwell shooting supplies. Cryptech. Battlefield to back country. Hunting Illustrated Magazine. The voice of the hardcore hunter. got some connections over in Pakistan and he just called and invited me to go on an Ibex on him. You know how I Pakistan. Pakistan. You know how I love Ibex, man. What do you think? See in the Ibex. It's probably the most gorgeous Ibex on the planet. Yeah. Should I do it? Pakistan's a little sketchy. But you can't pass up opportunities like this when I come. <laughs> you really can't. It'd be dumb not to go. That's what I'm saying, man. What do you Ooh. think? What do you think Fontel's gonna think about that, though? <laughs> I'm just glad I'm not the one that has to talk to her about it. Yeah. Fontel, I just got a call from our buddy Todd up in Canada, and he wants me to go hunt Ibex in Pakistan. What do you think, Flammer? I'm serious. He's serious. Should I do it? Yeah. Are you for real? Yeah, for real. Hey, why in the world would you want to go to Pakistan right now? Pakistan. Are you freaking serious? <laughs> yeah, I'm... Honey, I gotta go over there. He's pretty serious. Any other place in the world would be one thing, but Pakistan, you're not going. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. People are dying over there. People die everywhere. Honey, this is the Middle East. Are you crazy? Come on. You're not going. You're going. That's dumb. Honey, I really don't say much, but this is stupid. You're not going. I'm not. You're not going. Out. Freak.
बंदूक This is one of the game scouts. He's been watching for sheep for us, and he's given instructions on where they're at. And hopefully, they have some found, and we can go get them. He said that um, there is a nice ram in there, so we'll just stop the cars there, and then we'll start climbing. Okay. Shoot first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That already told him that we are going to sight in first. Good, good. Yeah. So Sam is. Yeah. Is this the only place there's Blanford yeah, Muriel sheep? Huh? Yeah, mostly yes. There, there, there are some in the Sindh province as well, but the quality of the Blanford you see here, you are not going to find anywhere else in the world. Same with the Sindh. Yeah, and this is this is the place that uh, that you will find Sindh ibex, and the Keno and gazelle, and uh, the sheep. There are some desert leopards here, but obviously you can't shoot them. Desert leopard. Yeah. Well, hey, we uh, made it to Pakistan here. We are down in the Sindh province, and we're about to uh, hunt Muriel Blanford sheep. And one of the things, we've been on a 15-hour plane ride, so obviously we want to zero in, sight in our guns. So we've got this Fierce 7mm. The model is the, the tie edge, and that should be the perfect combination, shooting Barnes bullets. And uh, the guys say they've the scouts are up and have been up in the hills and spotted some nice rams. So we've got this dialed in. So now we're gonna go out and see if we can find the sheep. Jack Link's Beef Jerky presents Messing with Sasquatch. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hey, guys. Here you go, fella. Huh? Try this one. <laughs> Jack Link's Jerky, feature wild side. This segment of The Fierce Life is brought to you by Fierce Firearms. Ferocious performance, deadly accurate. But we're in a different part of the world, that's for sure. Pack horses or camels out here in the desert. Not a lot of vegetation for these rams to eat, huh? Looks pretty rocky up there. just on the other side up over the top of this ridge hopefully they're still there they were they were on the move earlier so let's cross our fingers they're still there we thought I thought we'd cross that ridge no sheep would be right below us but we've got another ridge in between us welcome to Pakistan Just off the side, but there's no 
wild in here. I thought, I thought they were sitting on them up here, but that's obviously not the case. They're somewhere around. First night here on the hunt, and it looks like we're gonna get uh, skunked. Blanford Muriel's one, uh, the Fierce Firearms Boys zero. We got up here, we spotted two young rams, definitely not shooters. They, we saw them quick, they went around the corner, and I guess there were two big ones in here, two big rams, but uh, we never saw them. They, we had some other spotters up on the hill here, and I don't know if they just gave us the slip or if they just misjudge these little guys. But either way, we gotta get down off this mountain and uh, probably in the morning we'll go after either these sheep again, look for a big ram or go after uh, Sind Ibex. So that's the game plan here in Pakistan, baby. These mountains are rugged, steep, and it's hot. So hopefully we'll get some rest tonight and be ready for tomorrow. Barnes, the leader in bullet innovation, now offers hunters the ultimate in accuracy, terminal performance, and hand-loaded precision in a factory-loaded round. No time to hand-load, no problem. Barnes Vortex ammunition is available in center fire rifle, handgun, and safari calibers. Barnes, optimized for your target. Sportsman's Warehouse is your one-stop, convenient place to shop. Whether you're into camping, hunting, or fishing, our expert associates can help you find the gear you need. We carry a huge assortment of quality equipment from the best manufacturers in the country and around the world. We have guns, ammo, rods, and lures, not to mention every kind of outdoor clothing for the whole family. You can shop in one of our fully stocked stores or visit us online at sportsmanswarehouse.com. Come to Sportsman's Warehouse and take it outside. This segment of The Fierce Life is brought to you by Cryptech, Battlefield to Backcountry. So here we are, it's the first morning here at uh, Bhutani's place. In, in Baluchistan. Uh, what's the? Baluchistan. Baluchistan. Yeah. And uh, last night we came, we, we only had a couple hours to hunt and uh, we, we booked it up the mountain. It was a steep climb a good break-in hunt for us, but we didn't see any big rams. But this morning, as you heard uh, Sam say here, this, uh, this the main guide here, he sent his sons off last night on a scouting expedition, and they found two nice herds of uh, ibex and a nice herd of uh, rams. So, you know, keep our fingers crossed, and, and uh, we might get lucky here this morning. We're try our, our goal here is to, to harvest both an ibex and a Blandford Muriel all this morning. And if that happens, we know the gods are looking down on us and smiling. <laughs> These Ibex should just be on the other side of this mountain here. They're hoping to spot them from here. We'll see how far they are and hopefully make a game plan to stock you know. So we've got a nice Ibex spotted and also uh, four or five rams. No, more actually. More? Five rams in one group and then there's two rams and one, one female. Huh? Awesome. So we found the animals this morning. We're actually going to go after Ibex first. Uh, Sam's staying here, so there might be a little language barrier, but they just told us they know left, right, big, and shoot, and front, back. So hopefully with those, We'll get her done, but we're gonna we're gonna split up now into a smaller group and go stock in on this ibex.
Okay, step out, come on, step out. Step out, come on. Well, we just took a shot of this Ibex, big Ibex, just as he was going over the hill. Man, I could not get in a good position. I just got a shot at him as he cleared that tree. But I'll be honest, it wasn't a good one. And 95% of that was because I didn't have a good rest, which is key. He was just under 400 yards, 380. So we'll get up here and hopefully I hit him. But I have my doubts. We got him! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. <laughs> Boom! Ibex down, baby! Woo! What is the Hilal? What is the Hilal? Small. Hit him in the neck? On this shot here? Yes. Boom, look, he come right across here. First shot, we got him, tracked him right here. Boom, dead Ibex. Pakistan, baby. Thank you. Woo! You gotta love it, baby. There you go. Oh, look at this. We, we just came over the top of the ridge there. There my Ibex was. I'd hit him good on the first shot, just under 400 yards, 380 yards. Uh, shooting fierce. High edge in 7mm mag, topped with a Swarovski 3x18x50 Z6. We've got a custom long range turret on there. All I did was turn my dial to 380, pull the trigger. Tell you what, I had a horrible rest, but we got one in him. And we got an Ibex here in Pakistan. First morning, man, that's what we came for. This thing, to me, it looked huge. I don't know how big it is, but it looked big to me, man. Let's go check him out. But you can tell he wasn't going far. But we got an insurance shot in him. Here he is, huh? How big? Uh, big one. Big one. Thank you. Thirty. Thirty. Thirty eight. Thirty seven. Forty. 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 Woo! Forty, baby. Forty. Woo! Check out. Thank you. Woo! Woo! Thank you. <laughs> Woo! Look at this big boy. All this. Thank you. Woo! Oh, baby. Well, as you saw, we just had a fantastic hunt on this Sind Ibex. We're here in Belijistan with the A-Team, the Ibex A-Team. These boys spotted this Ibex this morning. They got me on him. It's beautiful. 40 inch? Yes. 40 inch. It's very good, huh? Yeah. Very good Sind Ibex. Nice coloring. Look at his cape. He's got blonde, red. Just a beautiful animal. Um, fantastic. And I mean, the cape's almost as cool as the horns, but not quite. Those horns are absolutely amazing. They come back, this one curls in. Fantastic hunt here in Pakistan. Now we're going to go after Blanford Muriel sheep after we get this one taken care of. But Booyah, Bhutanis is the place to come, baby. Thank you. Legendary quarter second trigger speed and high quality 20 megapixel images, only from Cuddyback. Quarter second trigger speed. 20 megapixel images. 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 You can only get performance like this from Cuddyback.
You gotta be kidding me. Ditch the string and get the only bow sling on the market that has an integrated hand grip. Lightweight and comfortable design which gets you in and out of tree stands quickly and securely. Goes on and off silently and folds up to fit in your pocket or backpack. The Kodiak Air Bow Sling, new from Limb Saver. This segment of The Fierce Life is brought to you by Rizzini. Sporting and field over-under shotguns for the discriminating shooter. Yeah, my... Well, it's about, it's not even 9 o'clock yet here in Pakistan, and uh, we've already harvested the ibex. We got in before 8, and as you can see from the sweat dripping off my hat, it's got to be in the 80s already. So, I mean, look at this. It's going to be, it's going to be well into the hundreds today. So, we're going to battle this heat, battle the mountain, and go see if we can find us a sheep. across the side hill. They went through the saddle, we're open, they're on the other side here, but I'll tell you what, it's 90 degrees and it's hot. And I'm gassed right now. I hope they're right on the other side so we can get this over with. Dust behind him went right through him. Booyah! Well, we just slammed us a Blanford Uriel ram right there. There was a big group. There was a one horn ram in there. There was an absolutely cranker in there. I don't think uh, they wanted me to shoot that one. That one was yeah. huge. Prince, but this one was, this is a big ram. Prince Bhutani might have been a little bit upset. That's probably his personal ram. But man, we got her done. Fierce tie edge strikes again, baby. He's done right here. Let's make sure he's done. Oh yeah, he's done. Nice ram. Look at this right here. So here we are. I made a fantastic shot with the Fierce Tie Edge 7mm. Once again, shooting the Barnes 160 grain TSX topped with a Swarovski. That shot was 350 yards and uh, easy, easy shot for, for the Fierce rifle. And uh, these are small animals. And as you can see, big horns, just absolutely beautiful animal. Okay, John, congratulations. Thank you, Samson. On your beautiful sheep. And there's a nice tight curl one, a little bit broomed off. Yeah, old sheep, and, uh, huh? Yeah, it's a, it's a very lucky day for you. Oh, very you. lucky day. You got a beautiful, superb Ibex this morning. And now you are here posing with a beautiful <laughs> sheep. Yep. And, uh, nicely shot, uh, one shot with your uh, fierce arm 7mm exactly. Magnum. Yep. And that was nicely done. And this morning you also shot your Ibex with your fair song. Yep. And that's your rifle, your Oriol, and congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you for watching this week's episode of The Fierce Life. Please join us again next week for more exciting action.